For many years in the Pokemon series, there have been special ribbons that you are able to earn on your Pokemon by completing certain challenges for it. Ribbon collecting has been a huge part in the Pokemon community, with many people doing a Ribbon Master quest where you try to get every possible ribbon you can on a certain Pokemon. But in Pokemon Sword and Shield, a new type of collectible was added that were similar to ribbons called Marks. Marks are essentially special ribbons Pokemon can have, but instead of you earning them, wild Pokemon are randomly generated with them. With a couple of exceptions, but more on that later. Marks are typically a rare occurrence and can give your Pokemon a special title when it is sent out in battle. So it's pretty special when you come across a Pokemon that has one. But what if you found a shiny Pokemon with a mark? Finding a shiny Pokemon with a mark is one of the coolest things a Pokemon collector can come across. But I'm going to take this a step further. My name is Dominator, and join me on this three-part series where I attempt to get every mark on shiny Pokemon. This is my shiny mark master quest. I originally wanted to attempt this challenge over a year ago after I found a shiny authentic Sinistee that had the rare mark. I'll leave a card for that video on screen now so you can check that out. The rare mark being one of, if not the hardest mark you can get on a shiny Pokemon, with the base odds being a 1 in a thousand chance or a 1 in 333 chance if you have the mark charm, I figured I had a great head start on this challenge. I was so wrong. You see, there are a set of 28 different personality marks that Pokemon can get, all at a 1 in 100 rate, or a 1 in 33 rate if you have the mark charm. To get one or two of these marks is rather simple. To get every specific one of these marks is extremely difficult. Even with the mark charm, you're looking at a 1 in 33 chance on top of a 1 in 28 chance to get the specific personality mark you're looking for which totals to about a 1 in 924 chance to get one of the specific personality marks. With these odds, I knew this challenge was going to be way too difficult to ever attempt. Until now. With the addition of Scarlet and Violet, Shinies can be a bit… easy to find. Well, let me explain. With the Shiny Charm and a Sparkling Power Level 3 Meal Power, you can get yourself a nice 1 in 683 shiny chance, and with the sheer number of overworld Pokemon you can force to spawn in such a short period of time, you'll be finding many shinies. On top of that, certain sandwiches can reward both sparkling power and tidal power. I'm unsure of the exact odds of tidal power, but I would assume that a level 3 tidal power would be about the same if not a little better as having the mark charm in Sword and Shield. So these are what drove me to actually attempt this challenge. Before we continue any further, if you made it this far, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. Both are completely free and it'll help me out a ton and be able to make more videos like this one. Alright, back to the challenge. I went through looking up every single mark in Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet and found out there are 53 total marks. However, three of these marks are currently impossible to obtain on a shiny Pokemon as of making this video. These marks are the Item Finder Mark, the Mightiest Mark, and the Titan Mark. The Titan Mark can be found on the Titan Pokemon you encounter during the Path of Legends storyline in Scarlet and Violet. After completing that story, you can re-encounter the five Titans and catch them. They will always have the mark, however, they are all shiny locked. The Mightiest Mark is found on Pokemon from Level 7 Event Terror Raids. At the time of recording this, the only Level 7 Event Raids we've had are the Charizard, Cinderace, and Greninja Raids, and much like the Titans, they are all shiny locked. The Item Finder Mark is a weird situation, it should be available and is even mentioned in-game while taking classes. It is intended to be earned when your Pokemon finds items for you in the Let's Go mode, but for some reason it just cannot be obtained at all. Hopefully this gets fixed in a future update. Every other mark, however, is fair game. Before we start finding some new shinies with marks, I want to start off by going over the shinies I currently have with marks. My shiny Galarian Slowpoke with the Pumped Up mark. My shiny Graplocked with the Sleepy Time mark. My shiny Nidoran Female with the Uncommon mark. My shiny Authentic Sinistee with the Rare mark, which is by far my favorite one. My shiny Snowrunt that has the Dusk mark and my shiny Alpha Miss Magius from Pokemon Legends Arceus. The Miss Magius doesn't currently have a mark, but once Pokemon Home compatibility comes out for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, any Alpha Pokemon that is sent from Pokemon Legends Arceus into Scarlet and Violet will be guaranteed to have the Alpha mark, so I'm going to count this one right now anyway. 
I will leave links to every one of the videos where I obtained these shiny Pokemon in the description of this video. Some are just Nintendo Switch screen recordings, while others are live shiny reactions, but regardless, I have videos on every one of these shinies on my channel that you can view. So here is my current standings on the marked shiny list. I will be updating this list throughout the video as we get more marks. Now let's start finding some marked shinies. To start, I'm going to get two really easy ones out of the way. As I mentioned before, marks are randomly generated on Pokemon when you either encounter them or when they spawn in the overworld. I did say there were a few exceptions. These exceptions are the partner mark and the Gorman mark, and I guess the item finder mark, but again, that one's not possible for some reason, so we're not going to include that. Where these are the only marks that you can get on any Pokemon as opposed to just having a random one generate with it. The partner mark is obtained randomly when walking with a Pokemon that has 200 or higher in its friendship level. The Gorman mark is randomly obtained on Pokemon after making a sandwich with them. I actually got really lucky and after one or two sandwiches, I got the Gorman mark on my shiny Stunky from my Pokemon Scarlet version, which is really cool. So we can already check that one off the list. The next one we're going to try to get is the partner mark, which obviously, as I just said before, you get it after your Pokemon has a friendship level of 200 or higher and it just walks with you in your party. Now, I got one on my non shiny Don Dozo already, but I'm going to attempt to try to get one on my shiny Blaze Breed Tauros because this is one of my favorite shinies I've gotten so far and I would be really cool to have a mark on it, even though it didn't have a mark when I found it. So we're just going to walk around with it for a very long time and hope a mark eventually shows up on it. So I gave my Tauros the Soothe Bell and I decided to just wrap rubber bands around my Pro Controller and just auto run around Lavincia over and over and over again. And I ran and I ran and I just ran some more and I was not getting the mark. And then I realized there was a bit more to it. Walking with your Pokemon and leveling it up can only get you so far in friendship in this game. What you need to do is wash it at a picnic or feed it sandwiches at a picnic as well. So I decided to bathe my Tauros and I bathed it again, did some more washing, and then I gave it a few sandwiches. And sure enough, just like that, I ended up getting the partner mark. So we can check that mark off the list. I also decided to evolve my Nidoran female into Nitto Queen, and I named her Melons for um be because because she's definitely watermelon colored and no no other reason. Now it was time to actually look for some new shinies with marks. Because I need most of the marks currently on shiny Pokemon, I kind of just went for whatever just to see what I would get. And it ended up working out pretty well. Here's what I got. I also got nearly every one of these shinies live on my Twitch channel. You can follow me on Twitch. My channel is linked in the description of all my videos. I keep thinking it's been longer than it has been too. <laughs> I thought for sure it had been at least 20 minutes. Oh, here we go. There we go. <laughs> I almost missed this one too. Yeah, the sandwiches are a bit broken, but we, we need it because we're trying to get Mark Shinies. That's the whole point of doing this. And it's not getting caught, man. What is this thing's catch rate? This is Shiny Mareep number six for the day as well. <laughs> Longest Gen 9 hunt ever, 14 minutes? <laughs> Yes? There we go, finally. All right. Does this one have a mark though? Do you know what we should do? We should have it set so that we do, we can check the summary. Um, send a boxes manual. That's what it is, right? All right, let's see if this one's got a mark. This is shiny number six. Fingers crossed. Let's go, it's marked. It's marked, yes. All right, what mark is it though? <laughs> Come on. Mareep the Rampaging, that's a, that's a, a personality mark. Let's freaking go, <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, let's go. I'm saving right now. That's a new mark. Mark, I, I have to check that off my list. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, that was so fast too. All right, here we go. Floof is evolving. 
Imagine it had the tag in the evolution screen, so it said Floof the Rampaging is evolving. So there's Shiny Flaffy. Shiny Flaffy actually doesn't look too bad in this game. It's a lot more pink than, uh, than I feel like it normally is. Floof is evolving again. We didn't really get to showcase this one, but I don't really care. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Like, come on. Tell me this doesn't scream rampaging. <laughs> like, come on. I think I think Ampharos is the coolest of the three shinies, and I think Mareep's a close second. All right. But we got regular Venomoth. And Floof. The rampaging shiny Ampharos. Watch out, he's rampaging. <laughs> and he's gonna get wrecked. Oh, he survived! Nice, let's go! Alright, so... There's a group. Oh, there's a shiny, okay, cool. There we go, number two. Number two. I'm gonna try to catch it in a net ball. Hopefully that works. I think nest ball is gonna be easier to catch him in, but... I think that was a crit. All right, cool. All right, that's number two. We got to check for the mark. We're like the shiny factory over here. Let's see if it's got a mark. It's got a mark. No way. <laughs> Let's add it to the party. That was so fast. But is it a mark we need is the question. Who do we get rid of? I guess we get rid of a great tusk. Mark shiny number two. I hope it's a good one. The sleepy, no, this is a dupe mark. <laughs> I mean, we'll keep it, but we got to keep going. We want a unique mark. This was the first duplicate mark of many to come. There we go. <laughs> that was fast. That was a fast one. And it's raining. High chance at getting the, the, I think it's called the Sodden. After work today, you'll get your shiny Espathra EV train. Should be decent. A lot of six star rays. Yeah, probably. Espathra's nuts. Can't get a group spawn if you already have 11 Mankey on screen, so maybe just being weird with how many. Yeah, maybe. It could have just been a weird spread. You wait till next time you want Hounder to want to jump to that. I'll do, I'm, I'm going to try to focus on one thing at a time. But let's see. It's marked. It's marked. All right. All right. It's marked. Come on. It could be this. It could be the mark we need, and then if and if that's the case, we will jump to Houndera. <laughs> Get rid of Great Tusk again. All right, come on. Oh, the Dawn Mark. Wait, this is one we needed. Let's go. <laughs> Manky the Early Riser. We're saving right now. Rise and die, the early riser. <laughs> Here we go. Almost, almost there. We gotta get to level 35, and then I think I'm just gonna go to some place where, you know, nice, prime ape. Go to some place where I can easily just use Rage Fist 10 times. But here we go. We're getting the shiny Annihilate. There we go. And now the, the netball actually works with it. And the name. We got regular Pommy. And we got Rise and Die, the early riser. Why does it show my money? Look at that. I actually forgot what gender this thing is. What is with this menu? It, oh, here we go. It's a male. He's rising early to die or something like that. I don't know. There's a joke in there somewhere. But we got another mark shiny that we needed. So that's progress. So I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to do Hounder next. Dang, I don't, it's not Blizzard anymore. <laughs> but it is still snowing, so we can still get the snowy mark, which is good. This isn't 
That's not shiny. Okay. I don't know why that one looked... This one is a shiny, though. <laughs> oh, I gotta check what Bergmite gets. Wait. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so Bergmite should actually be easy. Is that another one? There's another one over there. <laughs> There's another Bergmite right there. A shiny one. Look at that. We gotta check the summary of this one. Okay, no mark. This is... Another shiny Bergmite. <laughs> this, this method is so stupid, man. <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, how long has it been? We've gotten three shinies on this one. Way better than the Hounders, that's for sure. And this one can't have the snowy mark, which sucks, but they can always have a personality mark. It's, it's marked. I mean, who knows? This one... I should have just put it in the party. I have a feeling it's going to have a time of day mark, but I don't know if it spawned in during the snowstorm. Who knows? We have to go out of this. All right, Mark Shiny. Yo, the snow frolicker, let's go! That's what we needed! Yes! Yes! We save right away. Now, where do I go where ice type spawn that Bergmite does not spawn? <laughs> We're naming it Skippy. <laughs> Skippy the Snow Frolicker. Let's go. Let me take a... Oh, that's the wrong button. Actually, I'm going to evolve this thing. Here we go. Skippy the Snow Frolicker is evolving. We also have to name the other one we got, but that's fine. I don't care as much about that one. Look at that. So we got a regular Axew. And I should not lead with Coridon ever. And here we go. Sk Skippy the Snow Frolicker. The shiny Avalog. Look at that. Awesome. I, can, I probably can't run. Yeah, this thing's super slow. So yeah, the personality marks, it really doesn't matter what time of day, what weather it is or anything. It's just random chance, which I think at this point we're, we're getting kind of due for one. In turn, because it's one in, I believe it is one in 25. And I think we're really close to having a full box of shinies now. Oh, there we go. Another one. Nice. We're, this is a good sandwich. This is a good sandwich. We are already... We're already three in. Okay, nice. So both of them have taken two balls so far, which is reassuring. It's marked. Our, oh, I just did see Summer. We got to add it to the party. Okay, this could be huge. This could be huge. Oh, I put the wide lens in my bag. Why is that the default option? Whatever. Let's go, the absent-minded Mark! Yo, that's a that's a personality. I was just saying we're due for one. Let's go. Satoddle the absent-minded. Oh my gosh. Already a new mark. I gotta We gotta save this sandwich though. Here we go. Satoddle Polaris is evolving. I love Satoddle, but Satitan's a cooler shiny. Look at that. So there's a regular Satoddle. And Polaris the Spacey, shiny Satitan. I mean, it looks like a freaking asteroid, so that, that, that checks out. Space, the final frontier. Things were going pretty well, actually. Then the unthinkable happened. You see, with the personality marks, as I highlighted before, since there are 28 unique ones, it's actually pretty easy to get new ones that you needed from the start. And at the time, I only had three of them. So the odds of me getting a personality mark that I needed was extremely high. However, my luck took a turn for the worse. Like, that's annoying. Like, that's a terrible bug. Oh my gosh. Another one. I was, I, 
I noticed that was different. I was like, wait a minute. And we haven't had a single sandstorm in this entire sandwich. I don't know what's going on with the weather. And it's marked. Okay, let's add it to the party. Come on. And I, I keep doing that. I keep placing the item in the bag. I hate how that's the default. Please give me a good mark. No shot, dude. This is a duplicate mark already. But this We only have three of the personality marks, and this is a duplicate one. You're joking. What are the odds of that? I was like, I was expecting duplicates after like, Seven? Seven to ten? Three, though? There's no way we're already getting duplicates of those. And now I gotta give this thing an item again. Because of that. Oh, that sucks, man. That's so unfortunate. Out of all of the personality marks. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Hopefully we can get, like, really lucky with the next personality mark, because... As of now, all of our personality marks have been under odds. But like, dang, that... That really sucks. I'd rather not know I'm failing shinies than know I am, but... Apparently, 90% of the player base does not agree with that. Oh my gosh, yes! Yes! We actually got three, there's no way we just did that. You love that blissful ignorance of shiny fails in Sword and Shield. Yeah, it's like who cares if they if they if you don't see them, if if you can't if there's no way to know they're shiny to begin with, they don't exist as shinies, so it doesn't matter. But this way it's like you you turn around while you're running and you see a shiny spawn and it despawns. Like that that is not better in my opinion. <laughs> oh good, the blizzard's back. Oh my gosh, finally. I, like, I hope this is a good mark. That took so freaking long. It's probably a mark we don't need. I'll be super happy if it is a mark we need, though. No way! It's actually a mark we need! <laughs> yes! It was a good sandwich, guys! <laughs> complain and it'll work out oh my gosh and now the blizzard's back and we have 14 seconds to get a shiny in this blizzard all right we got regular sneasel i'm on a rock we got mr sneezy the humble oh it's so cool too and now we're gonna get fury swiped Feel like the shiny is Come on, we gotta get something. Oh, we only have 26 seconds. Oh no. <laughs> uh, we might have to just go immediately into the next sandwich to try to get a, a rainy mark one. Okay, there definitely wasn't a shiny back there, but... Oh, yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! Four shinies in this one sandwich. We have a chance at the rainy mark as well with this one. And of course, we're missing. And it stopped raining, too. And the sandwich is over. It'd be so crazy if this one had the rainy mark. Let's alternate between Premier and Heal Ball. Okay, this one's gonna be in a heal ball. <laughs> okay. So four shinies in a sandwich is pretty good. It's okay. Okay, it's marked. And there's a decent shot we get the rainy mark. Let's hope for the best. Let's go, dude! <laughs> Yes! It only took one sandwich for a mark we needed. That's amazing. Makahita the Sodden. Alright, here we go. Soggy Sven the Sodden is evolving. What a goofy name. 
so cool shiny hariyama is like it's such a cool it's such a random pokemon to have such a cool shiny it's so crazy too because like it was like the one shiny that spawned in rainy and while we were catching it it stopped raining that is so lucky that we got that so we got this regular hariyama oh and get get ready for this one Soggy Sven, the Sodden, the shiny Hariyama. Oh, look at that. That looks sick. This ours is, I think, bigger than this one. I then decided to go back to Sword and Shield to get one of the Sword and Shield exclusive marks, the fishing mark. This mark is exclusive to Sword and Shield because simply there's no fishing in Scarlet and Violet, and it is randomly generated on Pokemon you catch while fishing. The odds of this mark are pretty high, in fact the highest out of any mark in the whole game as far as I'm aware, where it is a 1 in 8.33 chance with the mark charm or a 1 in 25 if you don't have the mark charm, but I did have the mark charm and I decided I wanted to go for something pretty funny. I wanted to go for a shiny Delmize with the fishing mark as Delmize is like the only thing you can fish for that isn't actually fish, which is just so goofy. But um, I do have a full video on the shiny Delmize because I thought it was really funny. It was really crazy that I got it. And on top of that, I got it in inverted colors on my Switch for whatever reason. But uh, here's that. Oh my gosh, a shiny, <laughs> I'm in inverted, <laughs> shiny, shiny Delmize, man, I, I, I don't know what, I just, I just, I was messing around, I decided to do inverted mode, but there's a shiny Delmize after 2372, this sucks because odds are it's not going to be marked because the the best chance I have is a one in eight. Yeah, one in eight. And also this is already like almost double odds. So like it sucks that we went this far and I mean, who knows? But let me let me switch it back to the actual colors because I want to see what it looks like. I, <laughs> it's literally like normal Delmize colors. There we go. There's the shiny Delmize. It actually looks cool. Oh, I really hope this thing has a mark. So we have a lure ball. We have six. So let's just use it. Critical catch. And we caught it. All right. I've done so many just test captures of just random Pokemon, and I've gotten so many marks doing this. And I'm sure I'm probably not going to get a mark here, but let's check the summary. This is phase number one for the mark. Yo, let's go! Yes! 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 Oh my gosh! I can't believe it! It's got the fishing mark! Oh my gosh, dude! Let's add this thing to the party! Yes! Get rid of executor, we are using the, the executor. Oh my gosh, dude! First phase! So, so we're going to name this grass, where's the symbols, and trash. Because that's literally what it is. It's seaweed that's been tangled around trash, which is the anchor and like the compass and the steering wheel and all that stuff. But uh, grass and trash. <laughs> all right, here we go. Perfect. So we got a regular Delmize and grass and trash, the catch of the day. <laughs> the shiny Delmize, how sick is that? All right, well, uh, that's all I gotta say about this one. I guess we're probably just gonna move on to the next mark, so I'll see you then. I then returned to Scarlet and Violet to try to go for some more of the weather marks. For this one, I attempted to go for the Sandstorm mark, which proved to be quite the challenge. 
Oh, oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, that was actually so hard to see. <laughs> I probably have missed these things, man. Because <laughs> this is still a really fitting shiny for a sandstorm mark. If, if it, you know, it's probably not marked, but whatever. Oh, I sent this to the box, no! Come on, it's actually marked. Come on, please. I mean, it's a mark we need, <laughs> but bruh. This was the last uh, time of day mark we needed, so I'll take it, but like... It's the same odds as the sandstorm mark. <laughs> and it was during a sandstorm, so I don't know how it determines which one to pick. But dang, okay, I mean, we'll take it though, we'll take it though. I'm gonna save right away. All right, here we go. Hungry Hippo's evolving. Look at that. Shiny hip out on. Not gonna lie, I kind of wish this one was female, but at least we saw the male one and now I'm not gonna go for Hippopotus again. All right, we got a regular hip out on. It's perfect that it's male too. And Hungry Hippo the Peckish. Nice. Wow, that comparison is just something else during nighttime, that's for sure. <laughs> Does not look much different. The next mark I decided to go after was the Destiny mark. The way you get this is you register your birthday at a Pokemon Center in Scarlet and Violet, and then when your birthday comes around, or like me if you change the date to your birthday, Pokemon have a chance of getting the Destiny Mark on them. So I decided to hunt my favorite Pokemon of all time, Dragonite, to get it the Destiny Mark. And the odds of this mark are as of now unconfirmed, but I, either they are very high or I got really lucky because it really did not take that long to get this mark. And we got one. <laughs> uh, sorry I like didn't react at all, but I, as soon as they see you, they try to despawn. So it's like scary. All right, so catching them with a Dusk Ball during the day at one HP is fine. This is a, this is a pretty good sandwich already. And it's marked. <laughs> let's, let's add it to the party. Let's see. Oh, imagine. Yo, we got, we got it already. No way. Only two phases. What do I even do now? <laughs> because Dratini is the jo the chosen one and it is of dragon blood. We are naming it Dovakin. Also Gargoyle, I'm not falling for that. There's Dragonair. Oh, I've never actually seen shiny Dragonair in this game. Look at the metallic. The metallics in this game are just so cool. All right, here we go. There we go. Shiny Dragonite. I can't even tell you how many shiny Dragonites I have. Actually, I can. I think it's three now. All right, we got a regular Fido and Dovahkiin, the chosen one. Look at that. That's awesome. And we're paralyzed. Nice. Glimly. Okay, we got that first shiny Glimit like really fast. Now, like what's happening? What are we doing? There we go. Look at that. Shiny Glamora is actually so dope. That's such a cool shiny. If you're getting the same sandstorm, it might not be RNG.
It's marked! Come on, personality mark, please. Okay, all of my Pokemon are holding items now. It the cloudy mark! Wait, you actually can get this weather mark here! No way! Yo! What? That's a mark we needed! <laughs> what? I actually... I wasn't- I made a joke! I said, well, maybe the cloudy mark is here because it is kind of cloudy because there's like that fog above the the great crater. So I was like, maybe it's cloudy the whole time. I guess it might be. We got this regular Crabrawler and Daydreamer the Cloud Watcher. Look at that. And it's like all open up too. That looks so dope. Look at that. And it's getting wrecked. Sweet. And we found this one as a Glamora too. It like Oh, shiny goodbye. How are we not getting gibble, dude? <laughs> uh I guess I'll just chuck a I don't even know what would look good with this. We'll just chuck dust balls, it'll be the easiest thing to catch them in. And we'll probably reset over it anyway. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's marked. Let's hope it's a personality mark. We will not be resetting over the sandwich. We'll keep every mark shiny because that's progress. Yo, let's go. Oh my gosh, that's a personality mark. No way. We save right away after these. Oh my gosh. No way. <laughs> Dude, I swear if this thing if this if this thing has the freaking Zanstar mark, bro. I feel like a luxury ball's fitting. Yo, what's up, Electrode? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for putting a smile on Thanos' face. I do appreciate it. How's it going? Alright, let's check this thing. I can't believe the sandstorm's still going on as well. Bruh, no shot. No, sh don't, don't tell me. <laughs> Please. Do not tell me. Oh, what? The joyful mark? Are you kidding? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, okay, it's not the sandstorm mark, but it's like arguably better. <laughs> I literally just said I hadn't seen that mark in game yet. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, I is the next day. I didn't have time to do this last stream, but we have named the Relor Beetlejuice because it's a it's a dung beetle, and I don't know. I thought that was fun. I didn't want to go like amulet or something like cliche because it's a scarab when it evolves. But uh, yeah, I want to say I have enough steps for this thing to evolve, so let's just give it a rare candy. There we go, okay. Yeah, a thousand steps actually isn't that much. But here we go. There is our shiny Rabska Beetlejuice, which is kind of cool because the ball, it's kind of like, I don't know, cosmic looking. So it kind of, I guess it's like a star. I don't know. I mean, that, that's kind of part of the reason why I named it Beetlejuice. It's a beetle and it kind of has some ball of energy that reminded me of a star so there's that all right let's send this thing out in battle if i could find a pokemon that'd be great there we go we got a drifloon i would love to hunt drifloon doing this but it only spawns at night and that's kind of hard to consistently do but there's a regular drifloon beetlejuice the joyful it's a really cool shiny i want to say i like reller more but they're both really cool they're both really cool pokemon and also, I have changed my mind. I said I wasn't going to evolve Florence into a Garchomp, but I, I kind of want to do it. I know Garchomp's a really disappointing shiny, but like a shiny marked Garchomp is just cool. Like it just is. So I'm going to do it. So sorry, 
shiny gabites i plan to go for living dexes full odds and gender differences included so at some point i'm gonna have two gibbles and two gabites so it's fine if i have a couple garchomps But there we go. There's our shiny Garchomp. Um, pretty much as it always looks in the 3D games. But honestly, I mean, uh, everyone gives this Pokemon the, all the hate, saying it's like the worst shiny ever. Disappointing, yes. Worst shiny ever, I highly disagree. I think there's a lot worse shinies. But it's not, I mean, it's definitely the worst of the line. But it's, it's a cool Pokemon. So here we got a regular Meowth. And Florence the Easily Flustered, the Shiny Garchomp. Nice. See, and like, even even Subtle Shiny, I don't, I don't think Garchomp is a Subtle Shiny. Because, like, I mean, it's a lot different of a skin tone. And also the orange instead of the red is, like, super noticeable. It's just not exciting of a Shiny. But even, like, the most Subtle Shinies and Mundane Shinies, not exciting Shinies, at least they all sparkle when you send them out in battle. So that's always cool. So remember how I said the Sandstorm mark was proving to be quite difficult? Well, this is why. Found a shiny silver cobra with a sandwich yesterday, and the only difference is the eyes. It's it's a little different. The like neck thing around it is like gray instead of brown, but it is. Oh, we got another one, and that's not the right one. <laughs> it's... The Sandstorm just ended too, so this is our last chance at a Sandstorm mark shiny. Oh, it's you, okay. Phase 28. Will phase 28 be the one? I doubt it, considering we just got a mark. <laughs> Don't do this to me, game. Please do not do this to me. Gargoyle, thank you for the luck. It has a mark. Will it be the sixth mark, the seventh mark in a sandstorm that isn't the sandstorm mark? Oh my gosh, it's the sandstorm mark. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, ca <gasps> I cannot believe it. I don't even know what to think right now. This thing took us 28 phases in a sandstorm. 28 phases in a sandstorm. We've gotten six other marks in a sandstorm that all weren't it. And we finally got it. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna like mess around. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it only took me two weeks. I think I don't think it took me quite two weeks because we did a bu the bulk of the hunt starting like last Friday. But, I mean, it's been pretty much a full week. Alright, here we go. Sanders is evolving. Look at that. I'm so glad this hunt is over. Not the most traditional Pokemon to have the Sandstorm mark. But it's still a really cool shiny, and I'm glad we, I'm glad we went for it. All right, we got the normal Braviary. Sanders the Sandswept. The shiny Braviary. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, you can't use Whirlwind on me. The next mark I wanted to go after was the Jumbo Mark, which is one of the marks you can earn on a Pokemon, but only if it is the highest size that Pokemon can be. I wanted to try this with Dondozo, as I thought it would be really funny to get a giant Dondozo that was shiny. And I'm just gonna spoil it right here, I didn't end up getting the Jumbo Mark just yet, but I got two marks that were actually pretty crazy. Four or five times as likely to get a... Oh, there we go. Get over here. All right. Oh, I didn't put it to sleep. Well, hopefully it gets caught. Nope. I hope they, there's so many glitches I hope they fix in the next update. The outbreak glitch where outbreaks of Pokemon with different forms are only their first form that appears in the Pokedex, even if they show a different form. I hope they fix that. 
because I would like to go for a pink Tatsugiri that's teensy the, with the teensy mini mark. There's another one. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling this one's getting deleted. <laughs> All right, we can't fool around with this thing. We'll just use a dive ball. I'm sure the other one's already gone. It was literally f swimming away. <laughs> it was literally swimming away. It's actually marked. All right, hold on. Before we check this one. Yep, yeah, the other one's gone. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> well, who knows? Well, that, that kind of sucks, but maybe... This will have a thunderstorm mark. It does have the thunderstorm mark. <laughs> well, that's a mark we needed. What if we got both on the same Pokemon? How? Cr what if this is also the largest Dondozo? That would be crazy. I can't believe we just got the thunderstorm mark. I was all worried about trying to get that one. Rip the other Dondozo though. Because every chance we get at a Jumbo Mark is going to be huge. We'll just stay here. We'll keep going. Oh, there's a Dratini. I'm like paranoid every time I get... We, we've failed two Dondozos, and both times is because we were in a battle. Oh, there we go. This one looks like it could be kind of big, too. I don't know. They, I don't know if they change that much in size visually from the sandwich. Ah, I'm scared. Oh, it's not showing anything. Okay. We're already like a tenth of the odds on this. This isn't bad at all. Let's see if it has a mark, though. I hope not. Unless it's a dupe. It has a mark. <laughs> Are we going to get 30 freaking uh, Dondozos with different marks? Or is this going to be an uncommon mark? I hope it's an uncommon mark. Uh, That is the rare mark. Oh, I... Okay. I expected to get one of these during this challenge not this early though i assumed we would be closer to the end by the time we got one of these yo Im imagine this one's the biggest one so there's a regular iggly buff and jupiter the thunderstruck look at that Oh, big fish! You can't even see the sparkles, he's so big! Just because, even though it's a dupe mark, it's still kind of crazy we got this. Teriyaki the Recluse. Oh, there's another Qfin. Okay, we got four. Let's go. Yay. Yay. It wasn't like... I don't know, man. At least we can chuck Dusk Balls at them. Because it's nighttime. But we're just going to get some more Sleepy Time Marks, obviously. Get ready. Sleepy Time Mark number 20 coming in. You thought I was kidding. But here it is. No way! Oh my gosh! It's oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's a personality mark that we needed, and this was the one I wanted most because I've n I didn't even know this mark existed. Until I made the like list of all the marks in this game. Oh, it's such a cool one, too. That is so sick. The thorny mark. The pompous. 
I had no idea that was like an actual mark until I made my checklist of marks, which and I thought it looked so cool. I was like, that's a crazy looking one. That's so good. That's so good. I got to think of a nickname for this thing. But now let's just go for some Bisharps again. Because can't really go for Qfin anymore. Oh my gosh. That was fast. All right. Phase, phase one. <laughs> Phase one for the personality mark. I don't even think we have much time left on this sandwich. I think last time I checked, we only had like seven minutes left. Imagine this one also has a mark. I mean, it would be well due. Oh, it's a male q -fin. okay. It's marked. Can you imagine if we got another per Imagine it's this like, it's this like music mark, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called, but imagine it's like that one. Bruh, what? The rare mark, are you kidding me? This is my third rare mark shiny. How rare is it? <laughs> what the heck? That's kind of crazy. We'll nickname that one too, but it's not going to count towards like our mark. Like we're not going to, we're going to keep going for Bisharp. Here we go. Pom Pom's evolving. Look at that. Copperaja. Pretty sweet. But this is like such a perfect Pokemon to be the recluse. Look at that, he just sits on his throne. Look at that dude, his hair. So we got regular low kicks and Arthur the recluse. Oh, it looks sick. Oh, it's raining now. And now we got, this is a good one. Get ready, get ready. Pom Pom the Pompous. <laughs> nice. It looks good in a Dusk Ball. Sweet. All right, three. If right, we'll have three more groups of Deli Bird spawn. Okay, there's, there's one. Two. One more group of Deli Bird spawn. And then we'll we'll check the outbreak one more time. All right, there's three. Well, there's actually four, but we'll stand in this outbreak in the middle of it. Give it a couple seconds, and then we're just gonna reset the sandwich. Check down here too. Nothing. Oh, pfft. well. Pfft. Let's hope, uh, let's hope if it has a mark, it's a personality mark. Like Ultra Ball. I don't really want to deal with this thing. Oh, that was actually a critical hit. Yo, thank you, Gargoyle and Falcon, for the mark luck. Yeah, so, uh, Falcon, there is no way to turn off a game on the DS without turning off the DS entirely. Oh my gosh, it's freaking marked, man. <laughs> it's... And it wasn't, it did not spawn in when the blizzard spawned in, so. What? This is one we need! Wait! What? What? This, this is a personality mark we actually need! <laughs> After only six phases! Oh my gosh! And there's a blizzard going on. Where do I even go now? I don't even know where to go. We got a regular Espathra. And get ready. Weepy Peeps the Teary-Eyed. Shiny Delibird is a cool shiny. It's like... There's a lot of purple shinies in Pokemon. A lot of those like annoying purple slash pink shinies. But there's something about this shade of purple that just is so good. It is like a really nice shade of purple, even though they are pretty obvious.
Is that yeah, that's one. Nice. Oh, these magnemites are so easy, man. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm sure we're getting kind of lucky, but. But yeah, we're, we're already eight phases in, so four more phases to hit odds about. Oh, it's marked. <laughs> Imagine it's a personality mark. I doubt it, though. It's probably like a snowy mark. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's actually a personality mark that we need. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh, where do I even go now? Where are there? Magnemite the Furious. Oh, okay. This is not, I'm going to do a quick dis disclaimer. This is not my nickname idea. This was like something I saw in like a YouTube video about marks and stuff. And I just thought it was so perfect if we got a shiny with this. It has nothing to do with Magnemite. But we are going to name this. So now we have the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> so, oh, oh yeah, no, that should be correct for the title with no capitals on and and D. So, even though the nickname is The Fast And, it's called The Fast and the Furious now. <laughs> so, that was the name I wanted to give whatever got this mark. And it just happened to be a Magnemite. But here we go. The Fast And is evolving. <laughs> name makes no sense without the title. And it's caught in a dive ball, so it's going to look a little better with the dive ball once it's evolved. But there's our shiny Magnezone. We got the, like, the white and the blue, which is why I use the dive ball. So we got a regular Drifloon. And the Fast and the Furious. The perfect name for this specific mark. Maybe not for this Pokemon. I don't know how fast uh, or furious Magnezone is. But it's fitting. So there's that, which is awesome. And now, you know, just because we got two new... It's another white, gold, blue, black, blue dress scenario. Oh, look, a shiny Lit Leo. Yeah, the hair's definitely the same color. I don't know if it's the same scenario as that, because that was an altered image. And we were are only gonna save over new person out new new marks and rare marks and it's marked. I mean, I doubt it, but that'd be crazy if it was a new mark. Are you kidding me? That's a mark we need. Oh my gosh, it wasn't a bust of a stream. We actually got something. <laughs> well, I guess I can't go for this anymore. Litleo the Scholar. Oh my gosh. That is Mark 26. I can't believe we just did that. That only took five phases. Not gonna lie, shiny Litleo is kind of a cool shiny. I'm not gonna lie. I used to think this was a very like mediocre shiny at first, but this actually looks. Really good. But here we go. There's the shiny Pyroar. Look at that. Look at that. So we got a regular Halucha and Shuri the Scholar. Oh, that's also really cool. Oh, watch out, Halucha. You're too. So that is the end of part one of my Mark Master Quest. I originally wanted this to be one whole video getting all the marks, but obviously that's just super unrealistic. There's no way I'd be able to get all 50 marks in one video. But here are all of the unique marks I have gotten so far on Scarlet version. This is not including Sword version, but these are all the ones I got on Scarlet. And also, I originally wanted to include all of the duplicate marks that I got on Shinies while doing this, 
but obviously the video was getting way too long, so I didn't do that. But here are all of the duplicate marks I have gotten. And moving forward with part two of this challenge, obviously we got over half of the marks right now. It's just gonna get harder the more we have as the less chances we have of getting the specific marks we need. So moving forward, I am going to start deleting shinies, resetting over shinies that have duplicate marks. I'm only gonna save over the ones that have new marks. So this will most likely be it for the duplicate marks. Unless of course I get a new mark and then a bonus shiny with a duplicate mark in the same sandwich. But I have to be saving Urban Mysticas for this. I actually have a video already on my channel where I have deleted 30 shinies that weren't marked doing this. So it's just gonna get crazier as we go on, but yeah, that's the end of part one of this three part series. Next part, we are going to try to get most of the second half of the marks. So stay tuned for that. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe so you can see the next part when it comes out. It might take a while because getting these marks on shinies does take time. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring those notification bells, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the domination and I will see you in the next video.